right what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel and another video today is sunday i'm just on my pm walk you'll be seeing on the screen a couple of sets from arms we've got the easy bar curls we've got the hammer curls and we've got some rope extensions seriously good pumps super happy with how things are looking of course on friday we weighed in at 100.3 kilos which puts us over the mark to the 100 kilos welcome to the club to myself but super happy with the look you go check my check-in shots last week's video towards the back end of course because check-ins are now on friday so instead of the intro to the video being my weigh-in and check-in it'll be the outro to the previous video instead another week of gaining another week of enjoying this weather hopefully it sticks around but more importantly get my steps up get the food down me today is a high day and get myself ready for a big and brutal quads workout tomorrow which i will catch you for in a sec right what is going on i just got out of the gym from legs bear with me as i get in the car Whew, what a session that was all-time prs i got rid of the two and a half so i went straight for let me just turn the motor on there we go so i get the windows down and then i can prop there we go one of the energy drinks i got a couple of new AV flavors I haven't tried before. The fruit candy here and the blue lagoon, which you're propped up on. Really going through my energy drink kick right now. But like I said, all time PRs. I got rid of two and a half and so went for 230 on the hat squat, which is only 10 kilos off of the elusive six plates aside, which is definitely the goal that we're aiming for. But with quality, I'm not just weight chasing, not just log chasing, not just low chasing. I'm going for what I want, which is to build up with good quality and earn the right to lift six plates instead of just jumping straight for it because I, I can make a few reps move now to be fair as you can see on the screen i got still five reps with five and three quarter plates i'll get the two and a half back out next week and go for 235 before we go for 240 which is of course six plates talking of six plates we made six plates move on the pendulum squat for a, a healthy amount now we got the six reps which is one rep up from last week which is one rep up from the week before so two reps up in two weeks going to run that up to a healthy eight before i throw on another five kilos to that unless i get excited and want to throw on the extra five kilos early but like i said we're trying to earn that weight took 10 kilos on the squat press match reps 10 reps which i got 360 this week really trying to emphasize pausing in the stretch and making sure we keep constant tension making sure people like to talk a lot about depth and getting as low as you go like i always say the deeper you go the more you grow but you don't want to come back and have your knees touch your head if it is through your hips rotating and tilting upwards and you're bent over in a crunch by the time you're in it you want to come back with your knees and actually flex your knees deeper you go with your knees not deeper you go with your hips so that is what i'm trying to do always trying to keep the tension on the midfoot of course and then the definition display with the blitz squats on the rogers power squat which was super satisfying to watch excited to watch and obviously you'll see my pump shots on the screen as well what i'm going to do now is get home i am absolutely soaked as usual look at that the color color difference it's hard to find the bit of my top that isn't covered in sweat now so i'm gonna get home get showered and get to work some work block to do a couple of check-ins and then lots of food i'm starving get me my next meal i'll see you in a bit right what is going over on today is tuesday on the screen you'll be seeing my top set on the atlantic shoulder press i'm just going to sit down because it'll be easier i was going to do something standing up but it's just not going to work out we have got deliveries as well as the top set you'll see my pump shots from delts oh, the pump shot was unreal as full as a house definitely the best delt pump i've ever had if i'm honest and then also i went up a rep on that top set on the atlantis still finding my groove on the prime press with the load more mid-range length and still playing around with the ratios that i want it so i think next week will be the perfect one i think i figured it out now i'm going to put a bit more in the beginning range than i did this week which is a drastic amount more than I was last week. There we go, open. Well, as you can see here, training by JP is the first delivery in which I have 18. I think one of the guys in the room. So I'm just gonna double chop it here. Smells like chocolate fudge. So I think this one is ripped. Yeah. Got a rip in this one. I have proof as well we did it on film. Right. That is a pain in the ass. What I'm going to do is catch you for part two of the unboxing in a bit. I'm just going to sort myself out here. 
Right, so I'm about to make the second part of meal one. Obviously, this is kind of, kind of bounced on from Tuesday's antics where they had a bag split, they're sending out another one, so it's all sorted. All good in the hood. Just got a rip open bag number two. We do have another delivery, and the reason I brought it in now is because it's going to be useful for the ones part two. I had my 200 grams of mince, 100 grams of pineapple, some whole eggs, and this parcel. And I eventually opened it from Contest Sports. So I've got a pre workout here, conviction to try. I'll try that today, and I'll let you know. So that's that. But also, I've got some Hydro Flow, orange soda, and Cola flavor. I'll try the orange soda one now, well, after I have the second part of the meal. One which is, of course, cream of rice. It's got the biscuit flavour, the salted caramel whey as well, which I'll try tonight. Put this down so you can see everything else that is going on. What I'm going to do is whip this up 120 grams and I'll catch you all in a sec for a taste test. Right, so we've got the taste test. Yeah, that is good. That is really good. When I was tasting it as it was being made and still a little bit liquidy. It was quite heavily, felt like more coffee-ish. But now that it's cooked, it's lost that and oh, it's beautiful. Right. right, give me two secs to finish this and I'll catch you for the Hydro Flow. Right, I'm just getting my stuff together for my first work block, but I said I'll take you through it, so cheers. Yeah, banging. Orange soda, you can taste like the sodery thing, I don't, really know how to explain it but banging right back date is going down i'll catch you for the pre-workout and then when we get there right what is going everyone on the screen you'll be seeing a couple of exercises from back day my top set on the prime city row top set of the dumbbell rows different variation hold on to the bench this time definitely going to be doing that in the future felt a lot better than leaning over too exaggerated on the dumbbell rack and then my deadlift, which was up two reps this week. Going to take a load increase next week. Update, in less than 24 hours, they've sent out my cream of rice, the one that's built, um, a replacement for that. So a big shout out to the people at Chained by JP for the quick and swift turnaround. Always appreciated. These things happen, of course, long time stuff gets damaged. But this one is all good and ready to go when I need it. I just got off a call with the MC the Tank team, the weekly group call, and I am making my final meal of the day. The pre-workout was very good. I tried the conviction, of course. The flavor was a little bit syrupy, it's a little bit like medicine, but the actual feeling of the session, oh, I was on it today, to say the least. So the trade-off was, was well worth it. Super happy with that. And then for now, we've got the Biscoff way again, because I want to try it with protein. Of course, we've got the repair whey as the sample to try salt caramel and biscuit. That is going to be an elite combo. So I'm going to try that to end this portion of the video. So what I'm going to do, whip this up and I'll catch you for the taste test. All right. I'm just about to put the almond butter in, but I thought I'd do a taste test first, just for authenticity. Look at that for consistency. Banging. That is an elite combo. Salted caramel, repair whey, and then the Biscoff cream. I lost my words, it was so good. Right, I'm gonna get the almond butter in for another taste test, but oh, that is banging, 10 out of 10. Right, so I've just got you propped up here. The almond butter's in. I put it back in the microwave for another 20 seconds just to get it all mixed in and warmed up with, just to blend it in basically. So taste test for 2.0. I don't know why I expected. It's a 10 out of 10 before. Almond bar always makes it five points better. So that's a 15 out of 10. I'll catch you tomorrow. Firstly, for checking, my first check-in, knowing that I'm going to be over the 100 mark. So we'll see what we're weighing in at tomorrow. And then a big chest day to end the week strong. You know how we do. I'll catch you for that. Right, what is going on everyone? Today we weighed in at 101.2 kilos. That is right. Up. 0.9 this week a big jump in weight super happy with the look you'll be seeing the screen my check-in photos i think that's a bit better just the light was flickering a little bit so yeah on the screen the check-in photos very very happy with the look a lot fuller again still holding good 
levels of condition and almost improving like i said a little bit tired the conditions are even improved a little bit from last week irrespective of the jump in weight which is a double positive excuse me my hay fever is absolutely killing me right now i had an amazing chest workout today what i will do is i'll make this meal my final meal of the day and i'll run you through that chest workout how it went but just know it was very good very full great pump final meal here is 220 grams of cooked weight five percent fat beef mints and then we've got 100 grams of cream of rice and 20 grams of warm butter to finish the meal so i'm gonna get this started and i will catch you in a sec to wrap up the vlog right so i'm just waiting for my cream of rice in the microwave you'll be seeing the screen my top set of the incline dumbbell pressing which we got an extra rep 50 for seven super happy with this i really thought i was getting an eighth but my power just left me so i just controlled the weight back down again can not get eight next week it's no 52 and a half so it's a big jump to the 55s from the 50s so I may try and run 50s up to 10 before taking the low progression instead of eight, which I have done this whole way through. But the pump shots, the pump was looking very, very good. I was super happy with how that was looking. A lot fuller, you can hear the cream of rice just gonna give it a stir so it doesn't clump up. Like I said, yeah, super full. Still tight, that vacuum's still coming in good. way, still nice and tight, super happy with that. Legs a little bit battered from the stairs, but looking good there. And that just about wraps it up for another week haircut tomorrow so you got that to look forward to in the next vlog i'm in need of it my barber went on holiday just as i was about to book so it's a little bit long overdue getting a bit rough but enough said that'll be sorted in 12 hours time so if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe channel if you haven't already i need to get back before my cream of rice ruins my favorite meal so i can't let that go bad subscribe channel if you haven't already click the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload and i'll catch you in the next one